Every day when I walk in the barn and open the doors, I am holding my breath that everybody is okay and standing up waiting at their door for breakfast. Everyone probably who has horses in some capacity experiences symptoms of colic, no question. There isn't a horse that dies that doesn't affect you deeply. You can't do this and not love horses, whether you train them, own them for pleasure, breed them. The determining factor is getting to the horse quick enough either to get them therapy or to get them to the clinic. And Nightwatch gives us the time to make an earlier intervention than we would have otherwise had. Here lies the stall, completely empty. Um, it's very heartbreaking. Anyone who has a horse and has lost one knows what it's like. Uh, you know, at 27, I knew any day could be his last day, um, and I just always prayed that it was a peaceful day for him. And, and I think that's what really resonates with me with Nightwatch is that it, his last day could have been a lot more peaceful and a lot more comfortable had we been able to get to him sooner. Horses do not like to show signs of weaknesses. So a lot of times when they start having sort of distress, what you're gonna see isn't behavioral, it's gonna be more of vital signs. Your heart rate's gonna get elevated, your respiratory rate's gonna get elevated, but they're not necessarily going to show outward physical signs of distress until it's very far along. I think Nightwatch is um, one of those tools that can really benefit and help horsemen be better at their jobs and be better horsemen. And we're always trying to modernize and bring additional uh, enticements to the trainer, to the owner, to the exhibitor, to the caretaker, so that there is a, a preservation of life. As a, a full-time mom, as a full-time career woman, as an amateur rider, I have a lot of things to worry about. So I'm sitting here in my office doing my job, thinking about a million different things and knowing that if something went wrong, I would get a message saying, something was wrong and then I could act on it. This is where technology has finally caught up to uh, what we need to properly assess and evaluate these horses on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, now I think this is another set of eyes when we cannot be there, whether we're on the road showing, and I think it has a bright future. I've thought about a million different scenarios. And initially I thought, oh, maybe it'll appeal to this faction, a breeding operation, or to a training barn, or to an amateur owner trainer. I can't see who it wouldn't help. It's a lifesaver, is how I would describe it to someone. Yes, it's an equine distress monitor. It's a lifesaver.